Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can turn an object invisible. So to do this experiment, you really don't need that many different things. All you need for this to work is a Pyrex container of some sort, such as a measuring cup, a glass, or a mixing bowl, a smaller glass object to put inside the first one like a test tube, or just a smaller drinking glass, some tap water, and then also some vegetable oil, although glycerin will actually work slightly better if you have it. So I'm going to start by filling up my larger glass with some water, just to give you a standard of comparison for when I actually do the real invisibility experiment. As you can see, I'm filling up this glass fairly full, so it'll actually be enough water to submerge my test tube completely. Now I'm just going to go ahead and lower the test tube in slowly, and as you can see, even though both the water and the test tube are transparent, you can still see the test tube very clearly through the glass. This is because of a concept called refraction, which changes the speed and direction of light as it goes from one object to another. Refraction allows you to see objects at different distances, as well as see transparent objects with different properties than the surroundings. But now that you've seen that, I'm just going to go ahead and fill up the same glass with vegetable oil, which has more or less the same refractive properties as both the glass and the test tube that I'll be hiding. As I lower in the test tube again, you should still be able to see it pretty clearly because of the air inside the tube. But if I actually put it in far enough that the entire test tube is submerged, it vanishes almost completely. Now you might still be able to see just a little bit of the bottom edge of the test tube, and this is only because the vegetable oil doesn't have quite the same properties as the test tube I'm using. However, if you do use something like glycerin, which has even more similar properties to the glass and to the Pyrex that you're using, you're going to actually get an even better effect. But most of the test tube has been completely obscured even in this case, and it still looks pretty impressive. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the test tube again so you can see it clearly, as there's a lot of vegetable oil inside which I'm going to go ahead and pour back in. Now if I reach back in again, you're actually going to see that there's even another test tube in the glass, which has been here since the very start of the experiment. I'm going to go ahead and pull that one out too so you can see it clearly as well. But anyways, that's actually how you can turn glass objects invisible using the right materials thanks to the science of refraction. Let me know if you've heard of this trick before in the comments below, be sure to share this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.